Hey, Nib, do you have your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> what a strange YouTube hat! Although, without Wi Fi mesh and with an ISP router placed on your living room, you might get some weak reception on the other end of your house. Maybe. At least, I did. Until I start searching for a new solution that could seamlessly provide internet to all my devices no matter where I was on the house of course and also handle uh, lots of smart stuff with excellent coverage after some time I found what I needed to buy Mesh Wi-Fi Today, I was going to review the Lyra Mesh from Asus, but I realized while searching on the net that Lyra Mini is being discontinued. Well, I bought this a long time ago, and it's being discontinued in favor of the Zen Wi Fi, which is pretty much the same system. Wait, no, even better! I will continue with the review of the Lyra, but you can buy pretty much any uh, AI mesh nodes from Asus because they work together. Either you have a big router from ROG, big big one, or a smaller node like this one. Today you can still get the Lyra and Lyra Voice. The Lyra Voice is pretty amazing, check it out. No, they are not. They act together just like it was a single router and broadcast a single SSID. And that way you don't have to change Wi-Fi every time the current one gets a weak reception. They will most certainly be more powerful than your ISP router as well. And and they can be fully customizable by you. The ISP will not be able to connect remotely as they do with theirs. Okay, but you need to buy at least two nodes to get the full advantage, of course. And most consumer Wi-Fi mesh systems can go up to six of them, which can be a little bit overkill for a small apartment. Well, you might have an enormous penthouse. I don't really know. <laughs> but if you do, you might, you might want to check out for Cisco or Aruba systems. The main node needs to be wired to your ISP router or the optical terminal. Some mesh systems like the Lyra can bypass the, the provider's route if you so please, but check before you buy if you, if you want that functionality because it may not work with every internet service provider. 
then you can either uh, let it handle the backhaul wirelessly or wire it. Not every house has network ports nearby. Your nodes to do this with ease. But for longer distances, it could mean a lot. Some meshes will only work with an app on your phone. Others can be managed through secure shell or just a single browser. <laughs> Easier. <laughs> Configure them as suggested by the vendor, normally through the app on your phone and with very easy steps, normally. And bam! It's all set up! At the management level, you can check the coverage, clients, uh, block connections, uh, limit device bandwidth, uh, even sniff what they're doing online, or even set up schedules for the young. Lyris can also be controlled by Amazon Alexa, which is very cool when you have someone at home. Uh, ask Alexa to turn on your guest Wi-Fi. Easy. The Lyra system and the Zen Wi-Fi are pretty much the same, configuration-wise. And therefore, it's an install and forget system. Unless you want to add or remove a node in the future. For the more tech-oriented, you can sneak peek and configure quality of service, the uh, firewall exceptions, you name it. Do what you need to do for your gaming needs, for example. Speed is not an issue with these. You have available uh, theoretical uh, 867 megs for the 5 GHz band and over 400 megs for the 2.4 GHz band. I know it's Wi Fi 5 while we're seeing Wi Fi 6 all over the place with ludicrous speeds, but ask yourself the question Do you have those devices to use that? Is your iPhone over two years old? If it is, probably won't support it. And forget about smart TVs, Roombas or other IoT devices, they still pretty much rely on the 2.4 GHz band. Amazon, and e Amazon Echoes and Fire Stick are still on Wi-Fi 5. But if you seek the ultimate experience, the, the Zen Fi has you covered. But for me, the library is plenty enough. Take note, the 5 GHz band sure is faster, but it has a somewhat range limitation, while the 2.4 is slower but more stable at longer distances, which is why own smart devices aim at. Well, if you have three nodes like I do, you won't be far away from any device. I do talk too much, don't I? You want to know if it really improved over my uh, internet service provider router? Huh? Luckily, the Roomba can map your Wi-Fi, so I have proof! Here, at this location, I had some issues with my Echo. Sometimes is was lagging on Spotify, you know. Now, just peachy. And there you have it. Is this a great and exhausting review? No, <laughs> not by a long stretch. Is it a review for the average guy? I like to think that. And is just what 
someone really wants to know if it really works before you buy his stuff. So please subscribe for more of these simple go or no go reviews like this one. But don't worry. If something needs some maintenance or some tech thing in the middle, I'll show you, like I did on the Roomba video. One more time, subscribe and see you next time!